a very good day to you all. Uh, this video series will uh, give a brief introduction about data link layer uh, and this uh, videos are prepared and it is licensed under creative commons attribution share alike. So coming to data link layer, the data link layer transforms the physical layer, a, ro a road transmission facility to a link responsible for node to node communication. Data link layer divides the stream of bits received from the network layer into manageable data units called frames. It makes the physical layer appear error free to the upper layer. The data link layer also adds reliability to the physical layer by adding mechanisms to detect and retransmit damaged, duplicate or lost frames. The data link layer divides the stream of bits received from the network layer into manageable data units called frames. Then if the frames are to be distributed to different systems on the network, data link layer adds a header to the frame to define the center uh, or receiver of the frame. If the frame is intended for a system outside the center's network, the receiver addresses Addr uh, the, rec the receiver address is the address of the device that connects the network to next one. If the rate at which the data are absorbed by the receiver is less than the rate at which data are produced in the center, the data link layer imposes a flow control mechanism to avoid overwhelming uh, the receiver. And this is called flow control. Then error control. Data link layer uh, is responsible for error control also. It adds reliability to physical layer by adding mechanisms to detect and retransmit damaged or lost frames. It also uses a mechanism to recognize duplicate frames. The error control is normally achieved through a trailer added to the end of the frame. When two or more devices are connected to the same link, data link layer protocols are necessary to determine which device has control over the link at a given time. And this is called access control. This is all about uh, data link layer. Thank you.